righty now. Woo! What's up? What's up? What's up? Once again, everybody, and welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. One more again, this your boy T. McNeil. Y'all already know what it is. It's the DC Show. So if you have not subscribed to the channel and you're looking for the latest information in sneaker news, reviews, occasional updates, and the newly acquired sneaker bargains where we go out here and cop sneakers for $100 or less, trust me everybody, that is a great segment. This is where it's at, all right? Now, if you have subscribed to the channel, I thank you for tuning in every single day. All your comments, your love, feedback, support. This is what keeps me going every single day when I make content for you guys. It's you, the viewer, all right? So, what's happening with everybody once again, man? I got another Air Jordan I want to talk to you guys about. They're calling these the Air Jordan 1 Zoom Comfort Summit Whites. All right, now the Summit Whites is obviously the name of the colorway for this particular sneaker, but it is the Air Jordan 1 Zoom Comfort. All right, so I want to get you guys thoughts and opinions on that. This is a high top version, guys, and it's not only just a high top version, but we're talking about the real OG high top version, not the new high tops that you guys know today. We're talking about like the 1985 and beyond type of high top versions. All right, so let me know what you guys think about that. But yes, man, um, these Air Jordan 1 Zoom Comforts will be releasing next month in December of uh, 2020. So let's get you guys thoughts and opinions on that. All right, so without further ado, everybody, you already know what it is. It's officially the sneaker news portion of the channel. You guys know how to put it out there, man. So. Let's talk about some more sneaker news, all right? So, Air Jordan 1 uh, Zoom Comfort Summit White. Um, let me know how you guys feel about Summit White. You know, white is generally a color that I like strayed away from for a long period of time. And like, I mean like a long period of time, you know, because white really scares the hell out of me, especially when it comes to cleaning your sneakers, uh, getting stains, getting mud, dirt, God forbid, anything that you step in, okay, or somebody steps on your shoe and leave a scuff mark, y'all already know what I'm talking about, man. So, white generally shows everything. It's going to show every impurity, okay, it's going to show every defect, if there is a defect on the sneaker, and, you know, it's just one of the things where, again, it just scares me to death. So, I really got away from the white, um, and then on top of that, I kind of transitioned back towards the whites. Again, guys, like I kind of like got brave for a second and said, yeah, you know what? Let me uh, try this again, okay? But now it's one of the things where the white is throwing me off. Now, keep in mind, everybody, this is a summit white. It's not a pure white. It's more like a off-white or an eggshell white. So just keep that in mind during this uh, entire video. So by being eggshell white or that off-white colorway, um, it's not scaring me as much okay because it's more of a darker type of white that tone i think is a little bit better for the sneaker but uh what surprised me guys is the fact that simply because it is white uh, what surprised me is that the time frame that this sneaker is actually releasing which is in december uh we're talking about close to the winter months okay so usually uh sneakers like this don't really release as you guys know probably until like the spring okay or the summer Time. Okay, that's kind of when people are wearing these type of colors, but nevertheless, I mean, it's all right. All right Now uh, We're going to talk about the colorway guys now if you want to know what the colorway is and you're interested in this particular sneaker They're calling this the summit white black Sail sale, which is also like another form of, of off-white or eggshell white uh, light or wood brown and white again, okay guys so light or wood brown uh, the Orwood Brown is in this particular sneaker as well. I will show you guys that in a second. All right. Uh, we're talking about an official release date, everybody, of December the 1st. Okay, guys, of 2020. So that's roughly about two or three weeks away. Uh, right after Black Friday, that following week, man, you should be able to get your hands on them. And we're talking about a retail price of 140 US dollars. So I like that. And I like the fact that it's not breaking the bank. I think 140 is a great price, especially for an Air Jordan 1. Uh, if you guys remember, Air Jordan 1s usually run about 175, okay, or a little bit more sometimes. So I'm surprised to kind of hear that this is only going for 140. But hey, I'm not complaining because at the end of the day, again, it's not breaking the bank. It's going to give people that may not have those extra funds a little bit more of an opportunity 
to uh, save up and get this particular sneaker. And on top of that, we're talking about it's a high top shoe. You guys know if you've been following me for a while, I love high top sneakers. Um, I love midsole sneakers, I mean mid top sneakers as well because they give you that ankle support. All right, everybody. So uh, let's go ahead on and put the uh, images up, guys. Now, from the source that I'm using right now, uh, we're talking about Sneaker Bar Detroit. Uh, this is where these images are coming from um, as well as the information so if you guys want to go there yourself you can check it out uh, but this is one of the sources that I do use when I bring you guys uh, sneaker news information alright so let's go ahead and take a look at them let's see what you're getting and uh, I'll be right back with you everybody I'm officially back man so let me know down below in the comment section how you guys feel about this particular Air Jordan 1 Zoom Comfort alright y'all coming in that uh, Summit white colorway alright so we're talking about Air Jordan 1 Zoom now if you guys are familiar this is really I think I could be uh, wrong with this but I think this is part of the Zoom uh, Freak uh, shoe lineup guys for this particular sneaker again I could be wrong on that but uh, the Nike Zoom Freaks, uh, there's a lot of different variations of Jordans, okay guys, and Nikes that's in that lineup, okay, so the Air Jordan 1 Zoom Comfort, I think this is also part of that Zoom Freak um, lineup once again, alright y'all, but I do like the sneakers, alright guys, um, I already talked about the colorway, I like the off-white, the eggshell, that sail, you know, and sail is another form of white, so I think that it works, um, it's not that bright, bright white, all right, so looking at it, just based off how they took the pictures, um, it almost seems like it's like a cream color, man. So like a cream white, okay? I, I like that a lot, man. And it's one of the shoes I'm definitely gonna keep on my radar. Um, but aesthetically, everything is there that makes this an Air Jordan 1. Okay, guys, you have all the individual stitching. You do have white eyelids on here as well. Um, you have your typical um, air hole vent design in the toe box area. Um, you have that smooth leather. Okay, guys, that's wrapped around the entire sneaker um, as well with more individual stitching. Um, you do have blacked out shoestrings as well. Shoestring situation, we're going to have to wait and see how the Nike and Jordan brand is going to uh, go by that situation. Um, you know, are they going to include extra shoestrings, maybe some sail off white, eggshell white shoestrings along with the black? Okay, we're going to have to wait and see. Okay, you do have that Zoom Air badge. On the front of the tongue, guys, with the Nike swoosh, um, it's also stitching to the body of the sneaker. Now, let's talk about something else really quick. Now, when we're talking about that light or wood brown, or or wood brown, um, where that is located is right over top of the tongue. So, if you guys can go back in the images, you will be able to see exactly what I'm talking about. But it's only just a little piece on the top of the tongue, guys, almost like a little strip where that or wood brown actually does exist. All right, everybody. Um, you do have the classic Balls and Wings logo there as well, coming in white. Now that's more of your, I believe, Summit white. Okay, along with the uh, the eggshell white, the sail. I think that it works. Now, looking at the sneaker even closer, it does appear like it has a little bit more layers involved with the sneaker, almost like um, it's like double layered. Okay, guys, on the. Uh, outer portion of the sneaker so I'm definitely gonna have to get my hands on it and uh, do a more in-depth hands-on review for you guys so we can hopefully inspect the sneaker together and uh, get to the bottom of it but let me know how you guys feel about it now you do have a Nike swoosh on there as well guys uh, it appears that it does come in leather as well and I'm definitely a fan of that now the interior portion of the shoe is really interesting guys because it almost has a winterized look to it now what I mean by a winterized look, just based off the interior, again, we talked about those levels before, right guys? So it almost seems like it's a dual layer 
that they put onto the interior portion of the shoe. Now, it does come in multiple colors, okay? Starting with the shoe liner itself being blacked out, um, the rest of the shoe on the interior portion also being blacked out, but then you almost have like a, a cloth kind of interior that's been placed right over top of that. All right, guys, and then you have another outer portion of cloth that's been placed on top of that. So it's almost like these are winterized, even though they're not saying that it's winterized. It's not confirmed that it's winterized, but just based off of what I can see with this um, extra layer of cloth, and given the fact of when they're releasing, we're talking about December, when it's going to be cold, usually, depending on where you live, um, I can see what they were trying to do here. And I like that, okay? Now, I like the little design that's inside of the sneaker as well. I can't quite make out what it says, but I can definitely see that jump man on the interior portion. If you know exactly what it says, or if you know exactly what that symbol is around the jump man, leave it down below in the comment section. All right, y'all. But... Top, top image of the shoe, I mean, it's cool. You do have a nylon mesh tongue on there as well. A very soft, breathable uh, tongue. I don't know why I just squeezed my fist like this, but um, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, if you own any other Air Jordan 1s, usually all Air Jordan 1s come with that nylon mesh material on the tongue. And it's very, very soft, it's very breathable. So um, I think that it works, okay? But that's a really, really nice mesh. And um, yeah, it looks good, man. Um, the interior portion, I mean, I'm sorry, the interior, but the rear portion of the sneaker, it's not really a lot going on here. I mean, you do have the white leather on the top and the bottom panels of the sneaker. Um, it's all Air Jordan ones. You guys know that the Nike swoosh, or the four Nike swooshes, I should say, they definitely um, work their way from the side panels to the back of the sneaker with all individual stitching as well. And um, again, this is a high top, so you guys know you can ball in these and you are going to get that full ankle support. All right, now we can see a little bit of the rear of the tongue. Okay, so the tongue also has layers on it as well. So that, again, I'm kind of in the mindset of these being winterized, but again, the Nike and Jordan brand and sneaker bar together, they're not confirming that this is going to be winterized, but um, it looks like it definitely has that cloth or that fleece, okay, material inside, all right? Uh, last, everybody, we're talking about the outsole, as you guys know, is the bottom of the sneaker. Um, typical with the Air Jordan 1 or an Air Force 1, it's always going to be one solid color. Um, they never really mix and match the colors, as I always say, and um, it's got that cream, eggshell, sail white kind of ordeal going on, and um, I'm definitely a big fan of it, all right? So let me know down below in the comment section, everybody, how you feel about this sneaker. Is it going to be a cop or a pass? I would definitely like to know that. Um, for me, I'm going to definitely keep my eyes on it. Um, December the 1st, like I said, 2020 for 140. That's really, really uh, cheap, you know, for an Air Jordan shoe. And um, it's definitely going to be a, a sneaker that I'm going to have to cop because I want to do a little bit more in-depth review. I want to uh, see it in person. Uh, do the hands-on review for you guys as well. Some close-up images, my cinematics, you guys know how I do. All right, and on top of that, this will be uh, the first colorway for this particular Air Jordan 1 out of all the ones that I have in my lineup as we speak. All right, y'all. So yes, lateral ankle support, you got rubber outsoles, you got the individual stitching, you got the Balls and Wings logo, you got the eyelids, everything that makes this Air Jordan 1 and uh, most importantly, man, you got a classic on your hands, all right? Comments, questions, leave it down below. Do not forget, everybody, if you have not done so already by now, remember, like, comment, and subscribe. It does not cost you one red cent, no money, no moolah, no cheddar out of your pocket to subscribe to this channel, man, all right? I'm at the 1600 subscriber mark, man. I'm trying to get to 2000, man, so help a brother out get to that 2000 mark. All of my supporters and all of my followers out there, man, y'all know how I do. And uh, again, I do check the analytics on the channel, so I know it's about 90% of y'all that do not uh, or has not subscribed to the channel. Trust me, you're not missing nothing. It's not costing you nothing. It's going to help the numbers and it's going to help me uh, grow this particular channel. All right. Help a brother get to that 2,000 subscriber mark once again, man. And uh, join the DC Show game, man. And let's go. All right. Also, guys, do not forget to tap the bell symbol. That way you're always in the loop. 
That way you don't miss nothing when I put up new content. You guys will always be in on it and uh, you'll be good to go. All right. So I do appreciate everybody watching and listening and tuning in once again. All right. Until the next time, make sure that everybody has a good one. Y'all stay safe. Mask up out here, man. And uh, we're going to get through 2020 together.